are back with another episode of this, this mini series, guys. And we're trying to cover as many kind of specific situations as we can. So for this one, and we're always, we're starting from scratch here. And this is a brand new product launch that Kai launched with his brand. So as he said, he's got the, the you know, the lids yeah. and then this kind of golf. Um, golf club cleaning brush. So I just want to turn it over to him just very quickly. You guys can see there's only one review on this. <laughs> it's a, it's a, um, a very, you know, low priced item. So it causes a lot of issues for people. Let him cover his kind of SEO and launch process, and then we'll dive into some PPC stuff that's already going on with this product. Right. So as he was saying, this is now I'm jumping into the golf category. Now that I've kind of been in the industry for around five years, saturation doesn't really deter me from launching a product that I want to launch. Um, because I know that with the right SEO and the right advertising that you can still make money and still grow your product in a saturated area. Yeah. Um, so specifically this one, the SEO and the product detail added to it um, was basically after uh, someone called my Amazon guy. Uh, I kind of watched all of his videos and saw how he applied his images and his SEO and kind of based off of his phase one strategy. And so if you look through, as Lucas was showing you all the different images, these are the things that they state that Amazon is looking for, or Amazon customers are looking for. And what I did is I took all of my top competitors, I dumped it into a research tool and pulled up uh, 50 keywords that they rank between 50 and 100 for. So rather than facing the ones that they raise, that they rank for between one and 50, um, I said, you know what, they can have those keywords. I'm going to go look for the ones they don't. And so what you'll see throughout this entire uh, product detail page, um, you're seeing all the words that are in here, all the descriptions. They're all using those specific keywords that rank those products rank between 50 and 100. Awesome. Yeah. And I think that's a great strategy. And we, um, I'm a big fan of my Amazon guy too. He's got a lot of good stuff. Uh, you know, we, I did a video with him. So, and that's an amazing strategy. A lot of people come in and they think that, you know, that they'll shoot to the top of page one for like the highest volume keyword in the category. You got a lot to learn. <laughs> yep, exactly. So everyone's a dreamer, but you've got to be realistic. And you can see right off the bat, you can, you can slowly grow products if you're just, mm -hmm. if you just kind of take it, if you take it smart. Um, so let's just see when this was launched, right? So it's not it was, it looks like really, it's been consistent for about a couple of weeks now, mm -hmm. right? So it's yeah. guys, you know, this is, this is less than a month old. So it, it, it really is brand new. So what, what I want to hop into here and what we saw when we were auditing the account is there is, so we have one campaign running for this product. Okay. So we have one campaign, auto campaign that was set up. This is so common. So many people do this. Um, and sometimes we even do this. I, I, have, uh, I have brands that, you know, they have thousands of ASIN. And sometimes if they're, they don't know if a product is going to sell well, we will do this. We'll start mm -hmm. off with basically an auto campaign with a budget. And what we'll do is we'll set that budget expecting to max it out every day. So a lot of people will set a $500 budget and they'll say, you know, why aren't I spending? What it, kind of a better way to do this is to set a low budget with higher bids because you need to set higher bids to start to kickstart that algorithm and that PPC ranking. How do you feel about the campaign strategy? Dynamic bids down only or should I go dynamic bids up and down? I think you like up and down. Up and down. I'm glad yeah. you said this because I want to, I just want to call something to your attention really quickly. Mm. So if I go in here and I make a brand new auto. So you see right now I have manual targeting and they have down bid only mm -hmm. just automatically selected. If I go to auto, they change it to up and down. Interesting. Yeah, so because, and this is especially for new products, you know your keywords you're going to rank on. You know that you know that golf club cleaning brush is your is your big keyword, right? But yeah. you don't know all of the other thousands of keywords and ASINs that are out there. 
what, what this up and down does is it's Amazon helping you out. It's their algorithm telling you, hey, we think you're going to you're going to convert on this ASIN or this keyword. So we're going to double your bid because we're very, we're very confident you're going to convert for that. If you do this with autos, you can really, really kind of pigeonhole yourself, right? So definitely up and down. Um, and you know what, let's just, let's just make that right now, make that change right now. See if that changes anything for this, for this auto campaign. And remember with the up and down, it's just, it's the simplest calculation. So right now, I think we've got dollar bids set on this. So mm -hmm. now these are going to max out to $2, but we should be getting better placements. Okay. And it's not a big deal because we still only have a $5 budget, right? So let this yeah, run okay. for a few days, see what happens. Then maybe up the budget to $10 or $20 if it's doing well. What would you recommend me starting at? Should I start it at 5 or should I start it at 10 um, or should I have split that up between maybe five between a broad campaign, exact campaign and a exact product campaign? What, yep. What so if we, yeah, if we want to, if we want to go into budgets here for, for starting with a, with a product, I think a good thing to do is to set a goal for what you want to spend a day on a product. So I, let's say you want to spend 50 bucks a day on a product. And if you know that, um, you want to put most of that spend into auto and manual, right? So then let's say we, we allocate 40 a day to manual and auto, and that'll be 20 a day for auto, 20 a day for the manual. And then you have 10 a day for, you know, for ACE and targeting and for other stuff. Gotcha. This is a rough structure, but I will say mm -hmm. this over and over and over. If it's, if the auto is pulling in all the sales, put all the spend into the auto. Right. Yeah. So just, just, just go with what's working and this too. So let's coming, coming back to this campaign is we can see it's actually doing pretty well, right? It's running at a 50% ACOS, which for a $10 product is really good. I'm very happy, especially with one review. <laughs> yep, exactly. And always remember this guys for low priced items, always look at conversion rate. This is converting at almost 20%. So you're doing something right. And that's, that's just your SEO speaking. Right? Like so say, this, maybe the SEO. Would... Yep. That's totally speaking to the SEO. So just really quickly on next steps, I want to pop in here because a lot of people will have this. They'll have one auto campaign running and they'll say, okay, what do I do next? So if we sort this by orders, we'll see all of our orders are on other ASIN all of our orders and just wow. everyone knows the auto campaigns it's right it's these ads right here right they're showing up another asin amazon is amazon is telling us they're deciding where we go so from here i'm just going to move this quickly it's this export button right so now you guys see where i'm going with this if you if you don't want to do any of the work yourself this is kind of it you export this now you can see what ASIN you've gotten sales for. So then you set up your ASIN targeting campaigns on these ASIN you're getting sales for from the auto, right? And then we got to scrape a little bit for keywords. So there's a couple of keywords in here. You let this run longer. Once you start getting sales on these keywords, these are the ones you can bid on in your manuals, right? Right. So this is a launch strategy and it's, it's letting Amazon do the work. So if you want to set this auto budget to higher, it, it's going to start getting way more clicks and it'll kind of expedite the process. Right. Okay. And just kind of bringing this full circle, you guys see this works, this works because your SEO is so good and your images are good. So if, if you start off with bad SEO though, it, you're not going to see these numbers. No, so this is, <laughs> yep, exactly. So this is the most important step because a simple auto campaign with a new product can do very, very well. And then you slowly build from there. So I think so, what we'll do, what I think we should do is why don't we double the campaign budget for this auto campaign 
Yep. And then as my homework, I will start adding the exact product campaigns. And then if I see some keywords converting, I'll create that one as well. And uh, we'll let those run and we can check them out later. Yep, exactly. I think that's perfect. So this will be a fun one to follow, right? So we've got it in a portfolio. We're going we're gonna to rename it something different. We're going to make some manuals and some ASIN targeting based on the data we already have. And then I think the only thing is we're probably lacking on some keywords, right? So we'll find 10 mm -hmm. to 20 keywords, bid on them, but it's already converting crazy high in competitor ASIN. So I think it'll, it'll also bid very well for, you know, all of these, these keywords that we want to rank for. So yeah, this one, we will follow this one closely and we'll kind of keep um, coming back to this. And then we will keep going over the whole account as a whole and really trying to tie everything in here. All right, sound good? Sounds great. Awesome.